Hey folks, welcome back. Tell you what, got a nice look cooked for you lined up. Uh, at least I'm looking forward to it. I like steak and potatoes. Uh, don't need it, but I like steak and potatoes. <laughs> but, uh, cooking outdoors over here on the Kudu Grill. Um, like always, we've got rain in the area. Potential for rain. I don't know if we're going to get it or not. But uh, setting up over here by the garage is a precautionary. I'm going to prep everything inside. Got a couple top loin steaks in here. Uh, about eight ounces, one about six ounces, and we're going to season them up. Uh, pretty good cuts, and we're going to grill them off on the kudu grill. I'm like just to use the kudu again. It's been a while. Yeah. And I got some a uh, couple potato, big russet potatoes. We're going to wedge them up. We're not frying them, we're not deep frying them, or air frying them. We're grilling them. I don't know if you've had it that way, but it is delicious. You guys got to try it. So guys, let's get to prepping, get this thing on, and let's get going. I'm using both used and new Prime Six charcoal. All right, guys, you've seen people wedge some taters before. We're just going to cut this in half. That's a big half. And try to cut these as even as possible. And get some good wedges in there. That's some pretty good sized wedges right there. Put them over in our boat. You could let them soak if you want. I'm not today, just because I'm pressed for time. Down a little bit more. As, as always, we're keeping it simple. It's got a little olive oil here. I'm gonna get these things, just a little oil on them. And we're just gonna Give them a good toss, get them well coated. That's all we're doing. A bit more oil. Oh yeah. It's probably gonna hit us right there. This is some homemade uh, french fry seasoning that I made in another video. I'm gonna post a link up top here for you to go watch that. I actually, I think, linked it to someone else who actually made it. <laughs> so, so I just stole it. I'm a home cook. I steal all everything, guys. Nothing original about me. This seasoning is awesome, though. As soon as that grill comes up, we're gonna get these things on and let them start cooking. And we'll prep our steak, which is also very simple. Second thought, I'm gonna go ahead and get this down a little bit lower. I'll clean this top off a little bit. All right, get these fries on here. I mentioned it was hot. <laughs> it's like it's July or something. And it does happen to be July. As I film this, As this will probably take approximately 10 minutes uh, on each side to get these done. If we got to, we'll go a little bit longer. My bad looking little strip steaks here. I think they come out pretty good. Boy, meat is so expensive right now. It's crazy. A little bit of oil. It's just olive oil. In fact, I'm probably add a little bit. And come in with some of this Montreal steak seasoning. I love this stuff. That I've had problems with this thing pouring good. We're gonna get the job done though. Okay, guys. Put these over and repeat. I don't know what that is. I don't want it on my steak though. When those steak fries are almost done, we'll get these guys going. 
All right, let's get in here. Flip these. Might have to move some around. Oh yeah, they're grilling up nicely though. No complaints. Oh yeah. Get back over here. Very nice guys. About another 10 minutes or 12 minutes or so. We're gonna throw some, I'm gonna get this over here. Move these a little bit. Another uh, 10 or 12 minutes. I'm going to throw some steaks on here. Here is where we get a little creative. We're gonna start moving these over. We're gonna adjust our fire a little bit. Things. There's a couple that probably still need to grill. They're still going to grill here, but we're going to get this thing set up to grill a couple steaks. We're going to kind of pile these up like so. We're going to swing our grill out just a little so we can work a little bit. It is going to go all the way down to grilling mode, but we want that fire hot. Now we're going to shift our coals over here, mostly one side, because I want it hot right over here, directly over the steaks, and just kind of indirect to keep the potatoes warm. Make sense? They're great. Back over this fire all the way down I missed one thing guys I'm gonna move this back the other way got this piece of acacia wood I say it wrong every time I think it's acacia Kudu company sells this it's a South African wood we're gonna get some smoke rolling on that get these steaks a grilling right there boys We're gonna grill these for about uh, four minutes or so on each side. Get them under the cover and take in a little bit of smoke while we're here. Take a look at what we got here. Hey guys, let's take a look at this. It looks pretty good, looks pretty good. All right guys, I'm gonna pull these off. We'll get our taters off. Looking good over here. Get my family fed and I'll come back and give you guys a taste test. Guys, would you look at that? Hey guys, let's taste this guy. Very juicy, very juicy. Closer to a little bit more than a medium, uh, maybe a medium well. Let's go. That Montreal steak never disappoints, I'll tell you that. I'm getting some of that uh, acacia wood. I don't know how to describe that, guys. Kind of a sweet, a little bit sweeter smell to that smoke and of course main reason I did this cook I want to do these steak fries I've done them before <laughs> I'm gonna be honest these are uh, probably my favorite way to do these they get pretty soft in the middle a little crunch on the outside got those grill marks on there mm. I love those things guys look at that you see that Mm. One more. Mm. Guys, as always, thank you. Having a blast doing this. Gotta wash this down a little bit. I'm, I'm glad the rain held off, although there at the very end I started hearing some thunder off in the distance. So we might get a little something, so 
it's all good. As always, thank you. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you joining us every week. And so, guys, until next time, I will see you on the next video. God bless you. Bye-bye.